Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here doing an energy check to see what's going on. Remember, this could be past, present, or future energy. <clears throat> Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the signs and rolls as needed. Keep in mind, this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you'd like a personal reading, the details are in my description box for my channel. You can also email me aceclip0 at yahoo.com. I was not going to do another reading tonight because now this is going to be the fourth one sitting in my phone, waiting for my internet, uh, my Wi-Fi to be hooked up tomorrow. <laughs> but his message is... Um, are like busting out. Um, I have distant horizons. I'm shuffling my cards, putting them away. The lover came out in the reverse. Someone's spinning tails. Ep keeper of epic tales. Someone was spinning tails, painting a picture of bullshit ex lover. And I'm like, okay, yeah, no big deal. Then we had the captain came come out, and I'm like, okay, you're the captain of your own story. You know, you're in a leadership position. You can make your own decisions. And I'm like, okay, that's nothing new. And then the gang came out. I'm like, okay, shit, this may be important, so I should probably do this. Because if you're not the leader of a gang, you're exes. And they painted a very epic tale about you, possibly to have you gang stalked, harassed. <clears throat> Um, or set up to take the fall for some sort of criminal activity because we have brotherhood here brotherhood of shadows underworld transactions violence and criminality so i'm like all right this this may be important so um i'm gonna go with it you could be uh, being protected by flower energies fairy energies elemental messengers um, nature communication you could be getting messages from nature your spirit guides Covering up errors, painting the roses red. Someone could be a painter, okay? Or they could have had a job as a painter, this leader of the gang. Or they want your help or need your help to cover up something that they did. They could have been using you as the fall guy or a girl. Because you're shining bright like a star, you're making it through this. You will make it through this. So even though someone's trying to cover some shit up and they could be using you, you're going to make it through this in the distant horizons. Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what's best for you. So trust yourself. Trust your messages. Trust your spirit guides. Someone is inquiring about you. They may view you as weird and someone could be curious about you. And it could be this leader, your ex, who's curious about what you're up to or how you're escaping something or how you're getting your messages or information, why you trust yourself. Someone may want to know how you're making it through this. And I kept these here because at the bottom of the deck, and I don't typically look at the bottom of the deck, but I was led to this time, and it says I want to be queen. And then it says stating your sovereign sovereignty, declaring freedom, and passing a test. You passed a test, or you're going to pass a test that's going to set you free from this bullshit in the distant horizon. So I'm like, all right, this is... This is something we're going to have to take a closer look at for someone because this could be important, especially if you've suffered a lot because of um, this ex who you may or may not know was the leader of a brotherhood, gang, or organization, someone who was doing some criminal shit. You may not have even known that this person was trying to set you up and you escaped this. You're getting your freedom. And someone could be looking into this or they're curious about whether or not you're connected to this but you're going to be set free you're gonna you're gonna make it through this so don't worry it'll be okay for you maybe not so much for this person though all right not getting anything from that deck so i'm going to take a look at my time cards my time <clears throat> Because it said distant horizons. Let's see if we can get honed in on a more um, definitive time frame for this to happen. Especially if you've been going through this for a while. You may be anxious for something to end, for the situation to end. Or to know when people are going to stop harassing you, stalking you, causing you problems or delays. Or just when this person is going to leave you alone. See if we can't get a more definitive time card to give us some more information. Can we get a time card, please? Someone didn't want to wait. 
stop waiting is in the reverse july and december so somebody couldn't wait for something to end or for something to happen in december they could have done something in december because they didn't want to wait anymore and something significant could be happening by july or in july okay anything else for some of you in less than a month and we're in june now so that is consistent i love my cards they're very consistent with each other so in less than a month something significant is going to happen and it could be you being free you gaining your freedom and it's funny because we're in june and that's the month that's on here and it says in less than a month and july was the card that came out right before that so let's get in here and see what's going on. This is important for someone because someone's been waiting for this message. So we're going to get it out. Something has played out. This person, this situation, you could be over it. Like I'm just hearing, like I'm just so over it. Something has played out with this person, with their karma, with their drama. You're just over them trying to run your life. They could try to run your life by using their connections within this group, this organization, or this gang. Anything else from this deck that we need to know? You're unfazed, or someone is unfazed. Because you're uninterested. <clears throat> I know I look like shit. <laughs> I wasn't planning on <laughs> being on camera. You're uninterested. So something has played out. You could be unfazed or uninterested in this person, this situation, what's going on. But you're just over it. So, like, you could be very nonchalant about it. But you're just like, okay, are we over this yet? Like, when are you going to move on with your life? You could be moving on with yours or you already have moved on, but someone else, this, your ex, can't move on or they didn't move on. Anything we need to know from this deck. Nope. What about the hidden futures? What do we need to know that is being hidden? This was not a love story. This was not. You may have thought at one time it was. This person could have like swept you off of your feet, promised you the world, but this was not a love story. This was not once upon a time. This is once upon a nightmare for you, or it ended up being a nightmare. <clears throat> Someone's keeping you a secret. This person may have been the kind of person to keep you a secret. Or this person wants to keep you a secret. They may like to party or have third party situations. <clears throat> Maybe that's why this was never a love story. Because they like something ended. But so, this person doesn't want this to end. They want you to believe this is a love story. So this ended because this person likes to keep secrets. Especially you. They didn't want other people to know that they were dealing with you or with you because they were talking all kinds of shit about you and painting this picture about how crazy you are and stable you are. Um, <clears throat> getting their buddies to do this, that, and the other to cause you problems so that they could control you. Red lipstick stain. So this ended. Because this was not a love story. It's game over. You stopped dealing with this person. Because you could have found evidence that they were being unfaithful. The situation's about to explode because the police are involved. So something's about to really pop off here when it comes to legalities, criminal situations. The police are about to get involved in a situation. 
but you're going to get through this. Someone could be trying to see if you're guilty by association, but the police are proceeding with caution with this situation because it may be bigger than you think or that other people think or even that the police think. But there's a situation that's about to explode. The police are involved, but they're proceeding with caution or they're using caution within this because maybe they think you were still tied to this person because your ex, who is this leader of the gang, may have made it sound like you were the mastermind of this shit, which you're probably smart enough to run this shit, but you may not have even known what was going on or that this person was a part of it until it was too late. This person could have hid stuff from you. <clears throat> and they sure as hell were trying to keep you a secret from other people. Someone's getting played. Manipulation, lies, and control. So proceed with caution because someone's getting played. Someone's getting a room. They use hotels or get a room, hotel, motel, suit, business, pleasure. So someone could be mixing business with pleasure. This person could disappear. They could be using... Um, the other person, like whoever they're meeting up with, they could be getting a room under their name or paying cash or something. So they thought maybe something couldn't get traced back to them. Or someone could have even gotten a room under your name. Ooh, that's dirty. That's dirty. Someone's proceeding with caution because they're being manipulated. There's a girl fight here. So there's definitely a third party situation. But you have emotional intelligence. And this has someone in their feelings because they can't lie and manipulate to you. They can't have you in your feelings because you're emotionally intelligent. And you're not going to fight with this bitch over a man because you done moved on with your life. And you're just getting on with shit. Like you moved on, but someone's still trying to fight with you. <clears throat> someone's very much in their feelings that you are emotionally intelligent and you're too smart for their... It's like for their lies, you see right through this person. So they could have said, oh, I'm at work. I'm doing this, that, and the other. And they were meeting up with other people. Doing the, doing the nasty. Somebody was not feeling pressured. They didn't feel like time was running out. They felt like they had enough time to do whatever they wanted to do. They didn't feel like you were going anywhere. So they didn't really pay much attention to you. They thought you would just be sitting there waiting for them when they got done doing their bullshit. But there's a cycle that's closing. Closing the cycle in police station. So... This person didn't feel the pressure, but they should have been because time ran out. The police are getting involved and there's a cycle being closed out. A protective order or a restraining order could be significant. Um, someone's going to be taking a trip to the police station. That's the second time the police came out and there's a cycle that's closing out. So someone's going to be going to jail or getting arrested. And that could help close the end of the cycle out. So this person has to leave you alone. Your ex was a psycho. Okay. They were obsessed. They wouldn't let go. Or they were dealing with a psycho ex. And they thought that you'd just be sitting there chilling, waiting on them when they got back from having sex with their ex or whatever at a hotel or motel. Holiday in. Oh, getting chinky. How <laughs> with chingy at the Holiday Inn. Oh, man. Yeah, someone was definitely at a hotel. Meeting up with their crazy ex. And they could have been acting like they were trying to protect you from this ex, whoever this ex is, because they're psychotic. But um, they could have been partaking in illegal or criminal activities together within this group, organization, whatever this is. Anything that we need to know from this. Someone wants forgiveness. But I feel like it's because they're going to end up in jail and they're going to call you for help and they need you to help cover something up. They could be needing you to provide an alibi. Extend love and forgiveness to everyone. To err is human. To forgive is divine. So this person's going to be like, 
well, if you're into this spirituality bullshit and you're so divine, you have to forgive me because otherwise you won't be forgiven. They could even quote the Bible or some shit on you. This person needs your forgiveness, but they the, the reason they're asking for forgiveness is because they need your help getting out of this jam. Because the police are involved and they, I feel like they need you for an alibi or for a cover story or some crazy shit. They may need you to testify on their behalf or something. They definitely need your forgiveness. Or they're going to be asking for it. But it's played out. Like you, you just may turn this person down or ignore their phone call or something. Someone could be getting a collect call from the jail. Someone could be asking you to set up an account so that they can call you regularly. Like from jail or prison or something like that. Alright, these came out sideways. Focus. Guides. Power and new life. So you're very focused. You're listening to your guides. You're being guided. You are in your full power. You are fully in your power. And you are going to get your new life. So you are focused on a new life. Outside of whatever bullshit, the old shit, the old shit. I heard the old shit's dead. Okay, the old you is dead. You are fully in your power. You are being guided. You need to trust yourself, trust your intuition. Trust that you're going to make the right decision when this person reaches out to you because it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. If this is your message, this person will reach out to you. They will ask you for forgiveness. But it's because they need your help. So keep that in mind. There are strings attached with this forgiveness. Time. In time. It's, it's, I told you it's not a matter of when. It's a matter of... Or not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So, it, in time, this is going to happen. It's just a matter of when. So, be on guard. Protect yourself spiritually, mentally, physically. Stay balanced. Stay in alignment. Stay prayed up. Stay connected to, you know... Whoever it is you are connected to. The chariot. There's movement, progress, action, determination, willpower, control, direction. You, you have the willpower and determination to take control back of your life and the courage to do it. That's why you're going to be set free from this situation. There's a teamwork. There's a meeting. There's a collaboration. Okay. And... The police, uh, I don't want to get you in trouble here. The police may be asking you to collaborate with them or work with them. Someone, I hate to say this, someone could be asked to wear a wire. I hope this, God, I hope this doesn't get anyone killed. I, I'm really feeling bad about, uh, I have to say it because the cards came out. But someone could be asked to wear a wire to collaborate, um, to build a case. So you could be asked to build a case against this person <clears throat> and this could help set you free. This is going to bring a tower moment, a sudden change, a upheaval, chaos, a disaster, but it's also going to bring a release and sudden insight. And this is going to be happening quickly. Eight of Wands. Speed, rapid action, movement, swift change, manifesting quickly, quick decisions and air travel. You may have to make a decision quickly and you may have to travel on an airplane. Um, that's not for everyone. You may not all have to do that, but someone may be asked to take a flight, to fly out somewhere. <clears throat> protective custody could be significant. Someone may be put in protective custody while the situation is going on. Oh, man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Witness tampering. Um, this person may be trying to wimp witness tamper. If they reach out to you, um, be careful. This person could get off on a technicality with witness tampering. That may be what they're trying to do. 
Someone made a bad decision. They were at a crossroads and they made a really fucking bad decision to keep someone at a stalemate, to keep someone stuck. And someone's going to be getting the communication that they lost a significant amount of money or they're going to have to pay a significant amount of money or they lost their financial security, stability. Uh, <clears throat> this crime syndicate, crime ring, whatever this is, they're not going to be able to get money from this anymore. You're getting a clean slate, a new beginning. And I hate to say it, so for someone that could be under witness protection. So I, I know... That's not what someone wants to hear, but <clears throat> somebody was trying to intentionally place their burdens on you to cause heavy burdens for someone. So a decision that someone made to place heavy burdens on someone else to cause conflict, there could be conflict within this group, within this gang. Because they could have wanted someone to take the fall for this who didn't want to take the fall. Or this could have been them trying to take to cause you to take the fall for this. And this could have caused conflict within this group. Because not everybody was on board with this. You're getting this Ace of Pentacles. New start, new beginning, a new job, new relationship, a new home. Um, and you're going to be getting a message about this. You could be a very compassionate mother or father. You could have children. Someone is going to be compassionate towards you and offer this to you as a way out for someone, okay? Someone's going to offer you a way out with this new beginning and that I feel like for someone it's a witness protection, but this is the offer that you need, that you've been waiting for. You're going to get your treasure. There was a betrayal here and it could even be this group, this gang fighting because they found out that this person lied to them and they had them attacking you and trying to set you up for something that they did. Or their hoe did. The person they were sleeping with. They could have convinced the person they were meeting up with and sleeping with to do some shady shit. And they could have been trying to make you take the fall for this. It's not right. It's not fair. But um, someone is going to um, extend an offer to you. And be gracious to you with this offer. And I heard someone. You should take it. <clears throat> Someone's not getting the money they were expecting to get. So there was a betrayal regarding this risky lover's situation, this risky commitment, this karmic situation. And you could even still be dealing with this person. That is a challenge for this karmic lover. Once again, the two of swords in the reverse. person can't come towards you you don't want to date them you don't want to be in a relationship with them you don't want to love on them because they created an emotional bullshit situation a shit storm because of a decision they made they cheated on you and you may still be bitter and pissed off about that but even more bitter and pissed off the fact that these two dumb and dumber here tried to set you up to take the fall for this shit that's why you're getting the clean slate the new beginning that is the challenge Whatever bullshit these people planted, the seeds they planted, they're not getting this Nine of Pentacles. They're not getting any abundance off of this. They're not getting a big payday off of you. You're manifesting this new beginning and you're going to get it. Because you are going to be abundant. Something that you've been working hard for, it's going to pay off for you. And you've been manifesting that and that's what you're going to get. And that's a challenge for this person. Someone's got to take the fall. Someone's going down for this. And it's not going to be you. But they need your help trying to cover this shit up. I just heard it. I'm not interested. You're not interested. <clears throat> so there was an unofficial person. Hierophant in the reverse and the two of wands. So... There was a decision someone made to work with an unofficial person. Someone could have paid off. They could have been working with corrupt officials, law officials, law enforcement. Someone abused their power. Someone was paid off. So someone made a decision to pay someone off. 
There was a heartbreaking situation regarding this betrayal. They could have even had corrupt law officials, law enforcement, trying to help cover their tracks by trying to help get set you up for this, plant evidence. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, this could have been someone that you were married to, this lion-ass King of Swords, this cold-hearted Ice King. Oh, man, they were, ooh. You were married to the devil, man. Or in a relationship with him. <clears throat> they tried to create barriers. They, they told lies to create barriers. You're manifesting. And you're waiting for some sort of information, communication. Someone's manifesting here. Now, this person was not admirable. The lies they told to create these barriers, to put these blockages in your path, was for self-serving purposes. There's a wealthy masculine that's waiting on some sort of communication or watching you. Watching this whole shit go down. Building, it could be the King of Pentacles who's building a case. And they're rushing in with some sort of truth. Or someone's rushing in with some sort of truth. Someone's waiting for someone to comply or be compliant. They're, they could be waiting for you to tell the truth. Because this lion-ass King of Swords lost Ten of Pentacles in the reverse again. This masculine's pissed about losing money. So they lied. The Page of Swords, there was a message of lies. Someone could have tried to hide money on in offshore bank accounts or something. They could have said they lost all their money, but they could have tried to move it first. It didn't work. Your hard work's going to pay off. Someone's hard work is going to pay off. Maybe because you're going to speak the truth, and that's what someone's been waiting for. Someone's been waiting for you to speak the truth about the, your situation or what was done to you. Before I do that, I'm going to check these cards. I'm going to check these for a little bit. The power of serenity now. Pencil it into your schedule. You need to set a time, a date to tell the truth. Give a statement and you need to do it. Drop and give me zen. Pay the piper and move on. Give them what they want. They'll leave you alone and your shit will get better. I'm in an offline state of mind. Unplug. You need to unplug. You need to go off grid. You need to lay low. I can't see you now. You need to tell someone that you can't see them or someone's telling someone that they can't see them right now. Then the next two to four weeks, in less than a month, that's come out. Ex-boyfriend or girlfriend is involved. They said they gave up their player ways. They lied. They have different religious beliefs than you. There's competition that you don't know about. Someone thought they were going to get money. They owe you money. Someone thought they were going to get some sort of money from someone else. Or if someone else took the fall. A dark witch or a warlock. There really is no good reason. There is no good reason. Someone's going to snap. They're going to lose control and snap because they were guilty and they tried to make you look guilty. It didn't work. Someone's gaslighting the shit out of you who is innocent. They were trying to give you baggage. We all have baggage. They tried to put those heavy burdens on you. What's holding you back? They were the ones that were holding you back, placing burdens in your path to make you look guilty of this shit. To make you look unfit, unstable, to make you, I don't know, drug addict could be significant or something. They could have said that you were pushing drugs. I don't know. Whatever criminal activity this person was doing. You were supposed to take the fall. There are going to be law upholding judges involved in this situation. I heard you don't have to be scared. These, the judge is not crooked. Someone was very selfish. They chose to focus on themselves. They're, ooh. Oh, shit. Someone was very selfish. They were not telling the truth. There's a law upholding judge that's going to be passing soon. Oh, man. You better make your decision quickly because whoever they're going to be replaced with is going to be corrupt as fuck. All right? So this is a time-sensitive situation for someone 
because whoever is sitting on the bench now is a law upholding judge. They're going to be passing soon, and someone corrupt is going to take their place. So you need to move quickly with this action you're going to take. And once again, I hope to God it doesn't. I hope me saying that doesn't cause anyone to get hurt. Sometimes karmics watch shit they shouldn't. Someone was not the stuff dreams are made out of. They're not coming out of a dark and stormy night. You're going to have a positive outcome because of the secrets you know. They're going to set you free. Free and easy, free as a bird. Positive outcome. Hold your tongue. Free and easy, free as a bird. So there's a positive outcome because of the secrets you know. Because maybe you've kept your mouth shut up until this point. But whatever secrets these are, they could, they're going to be used as leverage to set you free. Because... If you don't, you could be getting arrested and charged as an accomplice or co-conspirator or some shit like that. So just, just be careful, man. Or woman. Someone was, this person was trying to rip you off for all intents and purposes. Not only did they try to rip you off, they were going to have you take the fall for all of this. Whatever this situation is, you were meant to go down with the ship, not, not the actual captain. He's like, fuck that. This person was your opposite. Opposites attract. You are complete opposite from somebody. But you're not attracted to them anymore. Because you're the real deal. The real McCoy. So you are not attracted to this person. <clears throat> Two peas in the pod and quick as lightning in the reverse. So this person could have been dealing with someone who was your complete opposite. The person they had you in competition with. And they did something really quickly to set you up for this shit. You could be getting ready to get your 15 minutes of fame here, and you could be younger. So someone here who's younger is about to get 15 minutes of fame, and this is someone's worst nightmare because of what you know, the information that you know, the secrets, because it's bringing judgment upon someone, like real judgment, like here now, carry by six, judge by 12. And that could be, someone could be getting ready... Mm, <clears throat> I hate to even say this. The law upholding judge could be get um, passing away because there was a hit put out on them. Because they wouldn't take the bribe. They wouldn't take the payoff. So they could be getting ready to face an accident or something's going to be made to look like an accident. There's a law upholding judge that's about to go through um, an unexpected ending <clears throat> because they did the right thing. So rest in peace and my condolences to their family. Someone was trying to stop karma from coming back and biting them in the ass. What goes around comes around on a Tuesday at the end of the day. At the end of the day, someone was just trying to stop karma or getting, you know, um, having to face the consequences for what they've done. And they're going to lose their shit. A loose cannon. Someone, someone's very unstable. They were impatient. Patience is a virtue and they don't have it. Against all odds, you're going to make it through this shit. I... Talk to God about it. Talk to your spiritual team. You have fairy protection, fae protection. Pay attention to the signs and nature from your spirit guides. There's someone here who's wet behind the ears who's going to lose their shit. Um... <clears throat> It could even be the person that was supposed to try to help set you up. The person that they were cheating on you with. Um, they could be losing their shit. And they could be like telling everything about this person as well. Uh, someone's going to be testifying. You're going to be happy as a clam though. You're good. Someone was trying to control a court situation. Under his or her thumb in court. So that could be why this judge is going to mysteriously pass away or unexpectedly pass away. <clears throat> but whoever's going to take their place will be one that will take a payout or will, you know, or will, at least in this case. It could be a significant person, place, or thing. Q. C. B. A car could be very significant here. A vehicle. Transport. 
Transporting or transportation across state lines could be significant. D. Uh, the uh, beer, uh, DMV, BMV, G. <clears throat> Someone's license plates or tags. Something could be traced back to the BMV or DMV, something like that. S. Multiple cars. Someone could be driving multiple cars or has access to multiple cars. And V again. So I have C, A, R, S, Q, G, two Bs, and D. Someone could have also contracted a venereal disease, which is nasty. But um, all right. I hope this helps. Have a good day.